Hello everyone and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. I am Paco Garcia, your host, and this is the RPG A Day 2021. This is an initiative that started by Dave Chapman and in which we talk throughout the month of August, every single day, one little piece about role-playing games. This is day three, Tactics. It is a much debated issue whether a tactical combat is role-playing games or it isn't. And it is brought forward very often when we talk about Dungeons & Dragons because it is the ultimate tactical combat role-playing game. And quite frankly, I, I love it for that. Okay, I said it. I love tactical combat in RPGs. Tell moi. What can I say? I absolutely love it and i also have to say i'm really bad at it i mean if i play a board game with tactics that by the way if you hear some noises that's my dog taiko who's playing around and um when i play tactical board games i am so bad oh my god oh my god so bad so terrible at it i am appallingly bad at it and i don't care because I love it. I love examining possibilities and I love moving here if I want to do so and so or if I do this to this one it can roll on to the other one or if I come close to that one then I can do something else. I just love it for the sake of experimentation and the sake of, to be honest, because I am so bad at it, unpredictable results. Sometimes it happens that having an accident is the best thing that can happen to you. Um, I wouldn't recommend this as a philosophy in gaming because you can have some massive, <laughs> massive mess ups at times, but I enjoy it very, very much to the point that I even add it to games that are a little bit more cinematic, like Call of Cthulhu, because I like it. I like the idea of describing the environment and finding out if you could hide behind a column or flip a table and use it as a means to get some cover or if uh, you are uh, behind a corner how visible you may or may not be and how far can you go or not i i just enjoy it and the thing is, uh, it doesn't matter what people think, it doesn't matter what you think, it can be added to absolutely any game, just as it can be taken out. Okay, tactical combat is not a necessity, it's just an activity within the game that you may or may not enjoy. But if you do, by all means, do put it into anything, anything at all. I've got some games around here. I don't know. This is the first one, for example. Sorry, this is the first one, for example, that uh, that, that springs to mind, uh, which is called, sorry, Alpha Omega: The Beginning and the End. This game, for instance, in which um, it describes every kind of combat playing, and it wants to be everything. And um, uh, well, you know, it has some there's some issues like that, but this is a different matter altogether. But it can be, you know, it even describes about having a measuring tape to measure the centimeters between one thing or another. So you can choose and decide whether uh, something is going to be reaching far enough or way too far. I think that's a bit too much for my taste. But having squares in the map, I, I like that an awful lot. Uh, it, it's just enjoyable for me. And it helps me visualize the whole scene. So I, I like it. It's one of the reasons why when I play role-playing games online, uh, if I play D&D, I like to play with a map so I can see where everything is going because I like my tactics. So I think the point I'm trying to make is it doesn't matter whether it is canon within the rules or, or if it is part of the design. If you like your tactical combat, Add it to your game. It doesn't matter what game it is. It's your game. You know, once you buy these books, it's your game. Do with it whatever you want. And don't feel pressurized not to do it. Or don't feel pressurized to take it out. But just, if you enjoy it, as I do, 
go for it. I think it's a wonderful experience. I think it's a great thinking exercise. And I think it's a very good humble pie uh, oven uh, because, um, believe me, I've eaten a few of those. <laughs> I'm quite happy to have done so. So tactic in RPGs, yeah, big thumbs up from me. Uh, what about you? Comments, let me know what you think. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.